Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I am paying tribute to the ever so glamorous, ever so fabulous Charlotte Tilbury. If you have been watching my videos as of recently, I would say like ever since the summer, I would say the summer, I decided to really dive in and get into eyeliner. It's been a journey, guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I am not to the point where it takes me one, two, three seconds to put on a wing, but it takes me a hell of a lot quicker than it used to take me. And I'm sure many of you can relate out there, but sometimes like I still sweat and get nervous and like get the jitters before throwing on a wing. I still make mistakes and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I do Charlotte Tilbury's Feline Flick, which is what I'm wearing right now. But I'm also going to be showing you some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. I've learned from fellow makeup artists. I've learned here on YouTube how to go ahead and correct things when they go wrong, how to map out a liner. So there are a lot of liner tricks in this tutorial. So I hope that you do leave this video with a little bit more knowledge. You take away something from this. Maybe learn how an eyeliner can work for you, your eye shape, and how to plan it out better and just be better at it. You know what I'm saying? Charlotte Tilbury is so fabulous. I absolutely love her. I actually discovered her feline flick a few months ago when I was scrolling, scrolling through Instagram. I was looking up bridal makeup because as you guys know, I'm doing my makeup for my wedding and Charlotte Tilbury's channel just happened to show up. I was scrolling, scrolling, scrolling and I found her feline flick video, which I'm pretty sure she uploaded like six or seven years ago. I will link her video down below in the description box. So I am taking her feline flick tips and adjusting them to my face, my eye shape, because we all know makeup is fun, fine, and dandy. It's amazing, honestly. But we need to cater to our eye shape, our angles, our everything. Like you need to make makeup your own. You need to make the product and the makeup work for you. And that is always by becoming familiar with your canvas. It's just, it's all getting to know your face. And so I did spin this to better accommodate my eyes, my eye shape being pretty almond, but I have a lot of folds and I have a little bit of a hooded eye. I am feeling bossy. I'm feeling sassy and I'm feeling like I can like run the world in this liner, honestly. And I'm going to tell you that if you are someone that is sitting here thinking like, I've tried wings. I try to do a cat eye, I try to do a wing liner and it just never works for me. Do you do your wing liner at night? Practice every night before you go to bed. Then you're just gonna wash it off and go to sleep. No one is gonna see the monstrosity of a mess that you make and oh my God, if I had evidence and receipts of the scary liners that I have done before going to bed, like you would not feel ashamed, girlfriend. You, you would think, damn, if she can do it, I can do it. I, I really hope that by the end of this video, you have some knowledge, some tips, and that you've upped your liner game a little bit. So before we get into it, I just wanna remind you guys that if you are not yet subscribed, be sure to click subscribe. We're gonna do two videos here a week this year, at least at a minimum. Maybe I will spice it up and surprise you with a third one, but you won't know unless you hit subscribe and click the bell because then you will definitely get a notification that I have uploaded a new video here on my channel. So without further ado, because I really wanna teach you guys how you can feel sassy and in charge, like I am on some other level today. Like this liner got me feeling some type of way. So if you wanna feel bossy and in charge and you wanna feel yourself feeling great in a feline flick, then, without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my winged liner tips and tricks featuring Charlotte Tilbury's ever so iconic feline flick video. To do the feline flick, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a coal liner. If you are brave enough, by all means, go in with a liquid liner. I'm not brave enough, so I'm gonna outline my feline with a coal liner and then seal it in with this. And then I think I'm gonna go over it with some powder. I've already done one eye. I also have prepped the eye. I put concealer and the concealer I brought down here in here because it's like an elongated, like very, almost like Egyptian. At least that's how it looks like on me. And then I sealed that concealer on with a light eyeshadow. I just hopped into my full exposure palette right here, grabbed this shade on a flat fluffy brush, stamped this all over the lid, and then I put some highlighter in the inner corner and the arch of my brow. And that's where I'm starting. Oh, and you're also gonna need a pencil sharpener. For my coal liner, I'm gonna be using my LA Colors. This is just a black 
liner and I like it because it's stiff and it's firm and it's affordable. So I'm going to go ahead. I already used this on this eye. I want to make sure that the pencil is sharp. So I'm going to just sharpen it. And Charlotte likes to start in her inner corner and she likes to just extend the inner corner down. And it doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to go over it with liner anyway, like liquid liner in the end. Now I'm just going to line it really tight to the lash line and I'm going to line it to the middle before moving to the outer third. I have this mirror here. I'm going to look in the mirror, keep my eye open and create a dot on where I want this wing to end. as even as possible before then tracing this back to the eye. And connecting it. Now I have this fold and whether you have a fold or not, it's always really helpful to keep your eyes open and draw your wing on. So I kind of brought that out a little high, higher than this one. So I'm going to make a triangle and just connect this in the outer corner. line the waterline. Oh, I was supposed to curl my lashes first. Damn it. I knew I forgot to do something. Sorry. I feel like I'm not very like cheery in this video so far. I'm just really, when it comes to liner, I just, I'm really, I concentrate. Okay. Then I'm going to drag it underneath the eye a little bit and I'm not going to put it on the waterline. I'm going to put it right where those lashes are and connect to that outer corner. And I'm kind of going to draw it to like where my pupil starts. I don't want to connect this because then that really closes off the eye. I mean, if you like that, that's a vibe. I, I do it sometimes, but I'm not going to do it in this look because Charlotte doesn't close it all the way. So pro tip here, I'm going to take a little bit of eye cream. I'm going to take my moisturizing, my belief moisturizing eye balm. I'm going to take a clean Q-tip. I'm going to stamp it in here, take some product, roll that on the back of my hand. And just take off any of the excess lotion and then I'm going to go in with this q-tip and just clean up any mess that I made if I want to make that wing sharper which I definitely do the wet and wild mega liner and this is just in black and I'm going to keep it close to the lash line And then I'm going to drag it underneath the eye just a little bit. And I'm not going to do the inner corners just because I feel like I might mess them up with concealer. So I will go ahead and grab this after applying the rest of my makeup. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back to the eyes. Okay, so I went ahead and I put some foundation and some concealer on and I want to go ahead and just perfect the eyes. I want to perfect this feline flick. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a nice black shadow, a nice rich pigmented shadow. I'm going to take this Smashbox full exposure palette and grab the black in here. Angled brush. I'm really loving this Scott Barnes 59 brush. Stay tuned. I'm, I have a bunch of Scott Barnes brushes. Mike bought me the contour palette as well as the brushes. So I'm going to have a video dedicated to his stuff very shortly, but I am just taking this black and smudging it over the liner. It's going to make it more matte. This is going to make it, I feel like a little bit more smoky, a little bit more rock and roll. And I'm going to use this shadow to perfect that inner corner. I'm just going to stamp it and bring it on up and I'm going to stamp it underneath. I don't know, do I look crazy? I kind of like this. <laughs> do the same thing on the other eye. I think I need to make this like a little bit more Egyptian for my eye shape. So I'm going to take this LA Colors liner and I'm just going to connect it underneath the eye. Kind of just like extend down like that. See how I connected it? I brought it back to the eye. I just feel like that flatters my shape better. It's okay if you messed up. We're going to clean it up because I messed up. Y'all know I messed up. 
I did not set my concealer when I placed my concealer down because I had a feeling that this was gonna happen. So I have some of my eye cream on the back of my hand. You can take any eye cream. I'm using the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm eye cream. And I'm just gonna do my trick that I always do, which is I'm gonna take a Q-tip and then I'm just gonna clean this up. Just fix any mistakes that you made. So just go ahead and like shape them. And this is like supposed to look grungy, so don't like, overthink it even though i'm being such a hypocrite because i'm sitting here overthinking it but it's fine i'm supposed to look cool and i feel like charlotte tilbury her eyeshadow never looks perfect but it always looks cool and i want to look cool so and now i need to just go in with some concealer nbd it'll be fine i'm gonna take one of these q-tips i'm gonna take a little bit of concealer or actually yeah no i'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and i'm gonna put it here and then I'll stamp it in with a sponge to just get a nice texture. And re-stamp around the eye. And I think this is going to add to the effortless effect. Because it's going to add some concealer, but it's also going to like fade out what we just did. I need to go over it one more time. It's definitely hard to get the inner corner right, but I feel like it's okay now. My little Blendiful from Tati Beauty press powder underneath my eyes. I just want to build up that crease a little bit and Charlotte mentioned that she likes to do her wing before the rest of the eye because she says it gives like a nice outline and structure and shows you like where you want other things. So I'm just going to go with it because she's the queen of feline flicking. So I'm just going to take this on a pencil brush. I'm gonna kind of like whisk it right above that liner as well. Just give a nice like depth to the eye and I'm gonna take a little bit more of that and I'm gonna put it underneath the eye. Mm, I will take this one right here on my finger. I'm gonna tilt my head back and I'm just gonna stamp this on the lid. Give a nice little sheen to the eye. So tilting my head back to really lay that color down. And I'm, I don't mind if I get it on the wing, but I'm trying to focus it above the wing. Then I'm gonna tilt and look in a smaller mirror and just make sure that they're even. I definitely wanna go ahead and just brighten up that inner corner. I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm gonna wipe off that finger I just used. Use that same finger and I'm gonna stamp that right there and like kind of bring it into the crease and then like kind of hug it into the crease to like blend it all out I hope that made sense but again if it didn't I'm gonna start in the inner corner tilt my head back and then kind of hug it into the crease just to like brighten up the eye a little bit and I'm gonna put it underneath the eye like right here and in that inner corner and then I'm gonna take a blending brush and just go underneath the eye a hint of this just because I feel like my eye can handle it underneath just for the drums yeah see the difference this one looks more dramatic. I feel like a feline flick is dramatic. I mean, you can make it basic, dramatic, whatever you want. It's your makeup. I'm going to take what's ever left on that and just put it in the crease. Really lightly. I'm like barely even touching my skin. I feel like that looks really cool. I'm into this. All right, let's go ahead and let's put some lashes on. I'm going to curl my lashes. I should have done this first, but hey, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and then I'll hop back on here to do my mascara. And then for lashes today, I'm gonna go in with my collab, the Wow Effects, the Works 
all in one mascara that gets all up in my eyeball every time I use it. But I'm gonna be extra, extra careful today. Extra careful. Cause I love this mascara. I just hate how much is in this wand. My God. That is a freaking killer mascara. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look the finished eye look i love a wing i feel like this is so dramatic i feel like this is so beautiful i feel so fierce like i feel like i can honestly like take on the world and i feel like if you double cross me all i have to do is give you like a side eye and you'll fall in line honestly i feel bossy i feel delicious i feel sexy and i honestly feel like a freaking bossy rock star i love this i love charlotte tilbury i love her feline flick i'm definitely going to incorporate this more and more into my makeup routine i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video leave me some love in the comments let me know down below would you rock a feline flick is this a look that you would wear? Do you like this look on me? Do you think this is too much? Like, can I wear this to church on Sunday? Can I wear this grocery shopping? Anything you guys wanna talk about in regards to this look, let me know down below. Again, if you are not yet subscribed, make sure you do that and also click the bell button next to the subscribe button. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my YouTube channel. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye, finders. Mwah.